Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are filming April week two's cash stuffing. Um, today we are stuffing um, $465 in total. I did make over $1,000 this week, which was pretty great. Um, and we are going to just jump right in. So starting off as always with my wallet, I am doing this a little bit earlier than I normally do. Um, so I have some spending that I still need to do out of these envelopes, um, which I'll talk about in a second. First, we're going to start off with gas. Let me move this over so you can see what we're doing. Um, so for gas today, as always, it gets $60, 20, 40, 60. And I have no rollover for gas this week. because I did a good amount of driving last week, but that's okay. $60 in spending, we still have $20 left and I'm just gonna roll that into next week. Um, I got paid early this week, so that's why I'm doing this early. So um, it's actually Wednesday right now. Normally I film my cash stuffings on Friday. So I just figured let's get it out of the way so I can get it uploaded faster. Um, moving forward from there, we have beauty. There's still money in beauty, but I am going to stuff it. Um, so currently beauty has, uh, 20, 40, 50, and I'm going to put an additional 20 in there. Um, and that is because I have a nail appointment tomorrow, which I mentioned in my last video. And, um, like I said, I normally stuff on Fridays, so to get this money a little early is pretty great because now that's, I don't have to pull from another place. So that's fully funded for my nail appointment tomorrow at $70. Um, I do the dip manicure, so it's a little bit more expensive, but it lasts me way longer, especially with my hands in water all the time. And I broke this poor little guy. So very excited to get that done. Thinking powder blue for spring. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. I won't see it but let me know what you guys think. <laughs> um, eating out is empty and I'm gonna put $20 in there. I'm gonna do that in two tens um, just because I went out and got dinner with one of my coworkers this week, which was lovely, so that was really nice. Uh, moving forward, household is gonna stay at $10. It's not gonna get stuffed. Entertainment is at the same, and miscellaneous is at the same. So that's pretty good. So that's gonna square out the wallet. No rollover this week, so I don't have to pull out the pink binder. I'm going to put that off to the side and we're going to jump right into my sinking funds. Um, we are working on building this bad boy back up. If you guys didn't see my last video, I did have to drain a couple of my envelopes because of my student loans. So we are working on rebuilding and growing and this was a really good week tip wise for me. Um, so I'm happy to be able to stuff as much as I can in these these uh these bad boys okay let's just jump right in so baby is gonna get 55 dollars so 20 40 50 and five it's gonna go in oh i didn't do my trackers ahead of time i normally do that so that i don't have to do math on camera because it's not my forte <laughs> Um, but we're gonna bear through today. Um, so 55 went into baby, so now it has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 105, which is awesome. And that is gonna probably square us away for next week. Um, next week I'll be able to pay off this little reminder that I have for myself, so that 130 will go straight to my Ulta credit card to pay off that balance, which is good. Um, wedding is gonna get $40, 20, 40. So we have $500 in the bank. We're adding 40 in, so 500, 20, 40, uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So 590, which is awesome. We're getting close to that $600 mark again, which is good. 
My wedding isn't until November 2025, so I have plenty of time to build this up, but I do have two weddings to go to this year that I am in, so we're going to definitely be dipping into that by that point. Emergency is going to be getting $40 as well, and that will bring us to... 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 in emergency. Getting close to that first hundred as well. What did I just say? 80? Oh no. Yes, it had 40, so 80. See what I mean? Math, not my thing. <laughs> Death snowball today is gonna be getting 50. So that was in 220s. And then it should get the remaining ones. So I do the uh, $1 challenge in my debt snowball envelope. So this should be 10 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. So $50 going into debt snowball this week. And this is also going towards that Ulta credit card to pay that down. That has just about $500 left on it to pay off. So hopefully we'll be able to do that for this month, which will be great. Um, we should be halfway there between this envelope and the money from baby. So we're, we're rocking it. So Debt Snowball currently has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, 99. Somebody give me another dollar, please. <laughs> That's so close. Isn't that the most frustrating? I'm like, where can I pull another dollar from just to make that even? Ugh. All right, <laughs> moving forward. Car maintenance is gonna get $40 as well, which will be my last two 20s. Oil and inspection are already fully funded. I do need to get an oil change soon though, so that's gonna have to get restuffed. But for now, let's put this $40 into car maintenance. <clears throat> which is going to have, oh, sorry, into repairs, which is gonna have 100, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85. So 285 in repairs. There is $30 in inspection. See, this is where math would have been nice to have this already done. What did I just say? 285, there is $30 in inspection. And then there is 45 in oil change. So 360 is the total in car maintenance. Woof. My brain just can't do math like that. I just, it takes me too long and then I get nervous and then it makes it worse. Okay. <laughs> Moving forward, travel is going to get 35 today. So 10, 20, 30 and a five. I owe Michael some money in this envelope, which I say every week. That's why he's got a little reminder. Michael's my fiance, so he paid for our hotels for Disney, so I do need to pay him back at some point. So that is what we're working towards right now. Um, so travel is gonna have 100, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. So 250 getting close with that one as well. A couple weeks and we should get there. And I can pay him back. Um, home is gonna be $35 this week as well. 10, 20, 30, 35. The house hunting search is uh, slow, but going. Um, if you guys live in other parts of the country, let me tell you, it's very expensive looking at houses in Massachusetts. <laughs> so just keep that in mind if you ever want to move here. Um, I hate watching like HGTV and seeing them sell houses that are like moving ready and gorgeous and they're like $120,000. <laughs> I'm like, how? How is that possible? Anyways, this is not what this money is technically going towards, but that's on the same vein. I added 35, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70. Oh, my goodness. All right, so home has 70. From there, 
we are going to add 35 into health, 10, 20, 30, and five into health. Everything has been good on the health front. Everything's good with the baby. We are about 25 weeks pregnant right now. And he's moving around like crazy, guys. It's so much fun. Um, so $35 into health. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, sorry, 50, 60, 65, I believe. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65. Good. Ooh. Okay. Health is good. And then last but not least, we will stuff Christmas, which will get that last 35 that we have remaining. And that is going towards Michael's Christmas fund. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75 for Michael. And we'll have 50 in dad. Oops. Let's try this again. 75 in Michael, 50 in dad, and 50 in Brian. So that leaves us 175 for a total in our Christmas fund so far. So pretty good. Michael, I will probably cap out at 100 and then revisit later in the year and add more to it. Um, I just want to make sure that I am stuffing other people as well, but um, we haven't kind of set our Christmas budgets yet. Usually we spend about 100 to 200 on each other, um, but I just have to check with him too and see what we want to do this Christmas because we will be also... Um, <laughs> providing a special Christmas for our first Christmas with a baby. So um, we may try to pull back on each other's gifts so that we can do something special for the baby. But um, that has not been decided yet. And it's only April. So I have plenty of time to figure that out. That is going to be everything for today. This envelopes are already getting pretty accordion-like. So can't wait. We're only halfway through the month. And we will see what we can do as far as condensing towards the end of the month. So that's going to be it for today. Again, that was $4.65 going in cash into my envelopes, um, but it was over a $1,000 pay week, which is always really fun when you are commission and you don't have control over your, you know, it's not like a set income. So it's always fun to see it go up to that, that number. So anyways, that's going to be everything for today. Oh my gosh, there's ashes everywhere. Oh, I'm making a mess. I gotta go. Enjoy the rest of the week, guys. I will see you for next week, April week three's cash stuffing. Have a good one. Bye.